45 days as long as the deduction has been remitted. Yes, all of this and more online at www.firs.gov.ng slash e-services. FIRS, making tax administration as easy as ABC. Please note that all FIRS services are free of charge. This message is from the Federal Inland Revenue Service. It pays to pay your tax. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to get lucky. Five lucky people here today will go home with five decoders, courtesy of the biggest supporters of sport, of boxing in Africa. Go TV, leave it, love it. To help us pick is executive head of sales multi choice, Mr. Akisalu. Sir, please do us the honor. Five people, please check your tickets, check your tickets. Ticket number 2590. Ticket number 343646. Ticket number 2754. Ticket number 2650. And last but not the least, ticket number 3171. If you hear your number, please go to the Go TV stand and pick up your decoder. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Welcome back from that one. And we've seen a five bouts that gone by tonight. We're expecting the sixth bout to come up any moment from now. And that will be a national lightweight challenge contest. But just before I tell you about that, I'll take a look at what has had gone down tonight. Wahid Shomash Shobamu, of course, winning against Sugar Boy Olaiwala TKO in the second, in the third round, rather, a national lightweight away challenge contest. And our very first uh, female contest on the Go TV Boxing Night Series, Rodiat, the Princess Yusuf, uh, takes a TKO over Fatima Omoalaja Asani in the National Bantamweight Challenge. And of course, we had a DMA spirit at Dekonla. It should be beating Isaac Aista Chukwudi. Very fantastic out in 42 boxers. But I Dekonla, the spirit awarded by split decision. And then, of course, the second female boxing bout on the night. Cynthia, Bobby Girl of Bishop Milore, uh, beating Abiyanu, Lady Crusher, who was actually crushed at Kennedy. Uh, it was another TKO in the very first round, 1 minute 44 seconds. And we saw that one in the fifth bout of the night that we just saw Tippy Rock edging Kazim the Light of Liwo by unanimous decision, National Federal Challenge Contest. And then of course more to come. Up next is Ahmed Eshe Hamid Ganil. Up against real one, the real one allowed us eight rounds of National Lightweight Challenge. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, our next fight, our sixth fight for the night, is an eight round national light way challenge contest. In the blue corner, Hamed Eshamed Ganu. Ahmed. Ahmed. So to speak, has the kind of posture as uh, also Joe Boy Joseph, uh, also normally wears his face cap as well, and uh, he's got his fans here as well, and uh, everyone is like fired up for this one. It's really entertaining the fans uh, with some dance steps. Oh, we'll see how he's gonna do that when he, the fight gets underway. In the red corner, 
real one. The real one. Oh, Now that's a big crowd puller right here on Gold TV Boxing Night. It has been a bit of a troublesome affair boxer lately. Challenging everybody in sight. Challenging Otto Jobot. And then of course also incurring the wrath of that man uh, who is a legendary boxer uh, in the Gold City Boxing Series as well. That's a young man that I love to see fight all the time. West Africa champion, national champion. What they say is a challenge contest. His titles are not at stake. Real one, and it's the real one. Oh, that is true. Re recall what the real one said earlier. He said, uh, "If as a student, you cannot, you don't get promoted. I don't get demoted. You, you remain in the same class. It's not good for you." And he wants to move up. In the blue corner, he weighed in. At 62.9 kilograms, he has had two fights, won one, lost one. Ahmed, Ahmed, Ganyu. Corner. He weighed in at 59.9 kilograms. He has now he has had nine fights, won all nine, five by knockout. Real one, the real world. Oh, Our judges are. Tola Jacobs, Constance Shinagorum, Latif Muiz, and our judge is Abdul Wahab Martins. I'll be the top man in the next of this belt. And I believe you know the rules. No rabbit point. Don't blow below the belt. And when I say stop, you stop. When you're hard to break, you do the same thing. At the beginning of the fight, you shake. And your chief catch seconds has every right to throw in the store when any boxer receives too much money. Have a great fight. And all is set for this one. Oladusu, it brings real action into the ring. A lovely boxer, any day, any time. Watch out for his hand speed. Watch out for his movement of his head. Hamid Eshe, Hamid, also a good boxer, any day, any time. Yeah. So expect a very explosive fight, this one. You just took it out of my mouth there. Fantastic boxer, Ashe Amid Ganyu. Uh, but he's got his hands really, really full. In this man, <laughs> he was, who looks like he's got everything a quality boxer should have. Talking about uh, the real one. The national and West Africa champion, real one. And he's been clamoring for the African title fight against Joe Boy. Can't forget what happened last time. Almost uh, both boxers are almost coming to fisticuffs. That was like two two press conferences to, uh, all together now. And the last time in the battle, he literally went into the ring, grabbed the microphone off the announcer, and said, "I want this fight. I want the African title." And I hope that the promoters are will just uh, bring the two, bring that fight, or the fight fans they want to see that fight. We'll wait for that one to happen. Well, Ralph, you know what? This is how he needs to prove it. Well, Come out like here against a quality fighter a in a formidable Hamid opponent. And just uh, take him out. Mm. And after that, you say, where you at, Joe Boy? Come on, Joe Boy. I'm right here. I'm ready. Let's take it on. The two boxers are yet to explode. It's a big one there. I think uh, the real one used that to test out, test out his opponent, find out how, how much of the fight is in the, the opponent. Mm. 
from body punch there. You know, when I saw Isaac Eister fight the other time, they also have uh, some similarities with uh, Oladusu. Yeah, absolutely. Very flexible boxers. And very quick hand speed. Uh, I saw in that time, it uh, touches foot before <laughs> landing a punch. Can you imagine? You didn't see that. I didn't see that. <laughs> Actually touched his foot. Exactly. Before landing a punch. Mm. That's how quick the hand speed is. Very quick. One thing that you could say about the real one is, I don't think I have seen him let a, bo a boxer off. Any boxer on the rails, <laughs> he's going down. Well, note, this is the slowest I've seen him come out in a bout. I, I think I totally agree with you on that one. He's usually very explosive. <laughs> That was some swing from Oladosu. <laughs> Oof. Got the fans fired up. Fired up. Come on. But Ashaq Ashaq Hamid is a, is a very stubborn boxer. Expect that from me. Yeah, Oladosu does say, say, okay, let's start gloves. <laughs> and a smile. Like, I'm going to catch you later. <laughs> some good camaraderie. For the two boxers. And you know, this is the thing about boxing, especially when we bring it out here. Go TV spreads out the best. I mean, they, literally everybody from the Nooks and Cranny, every boxing club in Nigeria, it's a convergence of the best of the best. lot of uh, boxing trainers and coaches in the stands. I wonder what they would do if they wear themselves in the ring. You just keep wondering, Leo. <laughs> All right, now. The first round, I must say, from my point, I gave that round to a share. I made for me. Really? Really. I thought uh, a lot of did enough. To I think Oladosu just um, weighed up his opponent in that first round. I didn't see a lot of the punches from uh, Asher Amid con connected. Yes, he threw a lot, but I thought the more meaningful punches came from the real one. That's it. Just a good hook. Good one uppercut. there. Uppercut. Uppercut there. That's a counter punching by both sides. Good one there coming from Asher, Asher Amid. Good one there again, a lovely right hook there. But he didn't bother Aladdin that much. Oh, that's a big left from oh. Real One. Good combination there, Real One. I mean, it's really giving it a good go here. Top and open it any day, any time. Catching the ladders with another good left uh, jab there. Just in case you're just catching up with us, Hamid Ganyu Eshe, Esteban in the white trunks, uh, where the lacings are green and uh, the opposite color uh, is uh, the real one. Aladdin's with green and uh, trappings of white. There from the chef to me. Oh, penetrating the card of real one. And you can see at the background there, uh, the coaching crew of uh, Chef Hamid. You would think they are the ones in the ring, but obviously the instructions have been adhered to, and followed by Chef Hamid, who has really troubled a lot of in this second round. Quick combination. Oh, a big one there coming from uh, Aladosu. But Amin is really using his uppercut to a very effective use. Those jabs coming in. 
helping to keep Aladisu at bay. Some great walks that he kind of ran to. Yeah, you got to give them that. And I'm beginning to wonder, is the trainer for Hamid Eshe, is he ever going to keep, keep, keep quiet? <laughs> That's a very tough round to call, the second round there, Ralph. Box. Yeah, tough. But I think Oladusu got that one. For me, he landed a couple of uh, big punches there. Now, this is going to be a big statement, honestly. This fight is a big statement for Oladusu, so he needs to score it big. I mean, he's been, you know, clamoring for that fight with, uh, with uh, Oto Joe Boy, who wants the African title. But he needs to show that he really wants that title. And I can uh, see he's not um, fighting his uh, conventional way of fighting where he goes all quick. Yeah. You know, he takes his time now, try to time his punches <laughs> because he knows how formidable his op opening is. Yeah, he knows if he, he can't leave anything to chance. You go in there, all in, you could come out uh, worse for it. You see, he just got caught there while trying to go in. And Eshe, like we said earlier, another very troublesome fighter. Doesn't seem to go away, keeps staying there. Good combinations, but not uh, connecting. I mean, I mean, you look at the action going on there. I wish we could go back to it it's again. Screaming right from the best uh, sound of the bear. Hey, we wonder if the boxer is really listening to that. Um, I, I think he is listening. Uh, he's definitely listening. Sometimes you see some of the boxers, you, you know, shooting a. A quick uh, glance at uh, their, their corner. And I think, like you said, truly, Aladis is not really fighting in his conventional style. Uh, he's looking to counter punch in this situation. Normally, Aladis is the offensive boxer, but this time around, he's just looking to catch the opponent in the counter. Not as aggressive as he used to be, not even as flamboyant as he used to be. He's found out that there's no time for that right now. You gotta take out your opponent first. Quick out of the two, coming out of block, and of course, using his jabs. 
Now we're beginning to see what uh, the real one is made of. The show goes in. Yeah, we're seeing it now. This is this is the this is the real one we know. And interestingly, these things work a lot. Causes a lo whole lot of distractions for your opponent. That's the real one. Yeah. <laughs> nice coming out. He's bringing it. He's making himself too difficult for them. Stop boxing. Stop boxing. Oh, it's not necessary. I it's actually believe he was lucky there. Yeah. Not only pushing, pins the head of the boxer down and goes in with the knee. I almost, thought I, I almost thought I was watching See UFC. That. Take a look at that again. See that. Watch that. Watch the, watch, watch the left knee. Break. Break. I thought I was watching UFC. <laughs> That's a good one they're coming from. Shea Hamid that time. <laughs> and then you can see I did tell uh, Martins there, uh, the referee, uh, telling uh, the real one that wasn't necessary. But to be honest, I do not think that the real one has this in the bag. So halfway through, I think he has a whole lot of work to do before all the show voting starts. He should really get himself in front. Yeah, it's not in total control of this fight. And now you can hear the fans chanting. I can't make out what they're saying, but it sounds like it sounds like they're saying deliver. And he seems to want to answer the fans. That's actually having a go now. <laughs> he's got it's a brand new mistake there. And he's telling him, I'm taking you out today. The shouts are real one, real one. Oh yeah, now I get it. The real one. You know, it brought the beast out of him. How do his dog fans that understand him? They notice that the man is not high in spirit and so they, they, so they have to help him out. It's morale and it went to kill. They have to ginger him up. Exactly. The man was ginger, he came what out it? very strong. So next right there. Open it all around. Watch what he does there. Watch what he does. I'm killing you today. <laughs> I'm gonna slaughter you. <laughs> but I like, gotta give it to Esher Hamid. He's not he's not uh, he carried away by any of those. You can see the records of the two boxers. The ladders with more experience of the two. Ganiu has two fights, one win, one loss. And of course, Alarusu unbeaten in nine with four coming by way of knockouts. Fifth round of scheduled eight. But I also feel that a lot of kudos should go to Shami. He has really kept Oladosu at bay. Not only will know the number of punches Oladosu would have scored at this point of any bout at all, but that Shami has really proven that even with less experience, he's shown a whole lot here. Sometimes even rattling on at the real one. 
for telling him step up. Let's have more punches. He says, bring it on. Oh, Whoa, that's, that's a the big back of the head. I saw that. Here go. Good uppercut there from the real one. Staying on the ropes. Protected himself. He said, are you tired? And he's Bring laughing. It on. Laughing at his opponent there, but I think Hamid should watch it and not get sucked into that. Uh, those antiques there. It doesn't work. He always puts him off his right. boxing. Just like we saw right. earlier. But I meet himself, but he's lacking in uh, several areas. He watches this man. He should time him. Don't, you get a wide swing. That's when you want to get but, your but own going. But like you said, he's not taking advantage of those wide swings. We've seen a whole lot of wide swings coming from uh, the real one, and uh, Hamid is not making use of them. And uh, talking about the proposed fight, I don't think Oladosu will escape if he was in the ring with Joe Boy with all those wild swings. I'm sure his style would have been different a little bit. Absolutely. It'd be so nice to see that fight, wouldn't it? Exactly. I want to see that fight. That's why I said the promoter should make it happen. And we're, we're waiting for it. That will surely be a blockbuster. Absolutely. It has to be a main event. Sixth round of a scheduled eight, and it's a big, big one here. National Lightweight Challenge in the white trunks. I met a Sheikh Ahmed Ghaniu, and in the green trunks, the national and West African lightweight champion, the real one, the real one. Allah so that's for those of you who are just joining. Ladosu in green and Ganyu in white. Is it your position that has made the real one to be, you know, not fighting his usual style? I don't understand. Oh, well, I, I think he's just. Oh, that's that white swing I keep talking about. I mean, you can't keep throwing those wild swings against a quality boxer. You will pay for it. That will bring some great counter punching from any quality boxer. Or the person needs to, is to do a step aside and he provides himself with a good opportunity to hit you without you being able to defend yourself. Uppercut there, but he gets caught back as well. Talking about Eshe Hamed, big body shot from real one. And interestingly, I have not seen that from him. He normally is a man who's able to use every uh, trick in the book, but he's not tried to use the body punches today. again asking for it I think uh, like you said earlier they notice the, the the wall in his uh, fight style and they keep asking for it uh, 
And there you have them ch chanting the real one, T.R.O. Would you say they are disappointed so far in what they have seen? Absolutely. I mean, they've already done that twice in this bout. Uh, that means they are not... Most of the time, you don't get the fans chanting the real one. They only do that when he finishes in the floor. Straight right from him, he was also caught. the chant it feels he has to live up to the, uh, the chanting but those were too many wild swings just too many he was even lucky to escape a, a you know a soccer punch there yeah look at that two another another wild one another wild wild again wild again i mean you're, you're in the ring against a quality boxer he's going to take you out you this one Look at that. It wasn't like it wasn't like Ahmed was like elusive. It was there. He was just a bit careless with the way he was throwing the punches. I mean, can you see the disappointment on the face of the fans just now? I mean, even if, I, if, even if the fight's going to go the distance, they want to see fireworks. Like we saw in the split decision win between Ike, Ike Star and uh, the Spirit. lived up to the billing we thought this would have been the most explosive of the night so far uh, but this has been under underachieving underachieving the anti-climax so far <laughs> yeah but i think he's lived up to his billing in one thing uh we've got a whole lot of showmanship <laughs> without the fight to do is just keep calm he will get this man there hasn't been so much of head movement from Sheikh Hamed so he is actually there for you for the taking good jabs coming from real one top, top. okay he needs to retake his uh his gloves talking about uh Sheikh Hamid and a uh, good opportunity for the real one there to get some tips from his uh, corner Short coming from the real one. Doesn't seem to bother Hamid. I mean, this has been the longest I've heard this hall go quiet.
lots of swings there. That time, almost a catch in his mouth with the elbow. Oh, great vision there from Sheikh Hamid. It's been a wonderful innovation. You can't believe it. It's the eighth and final round of this bout. They touch gloves, and the final round is up and running. Both boxers have shown so much respect for each other. Uh, almost at the end of every round, you see them touching gloves before they go to their various corners. This and bout uh, can go either way, Nero. Yeah, but no, but I, but I think uh, if you ask me, I, I think uh, Ladus who has been on the has, has edged it so far, and it looks like it looks to be coming for it finally. Yeah, you can see there now. It's obvious. Hamid is struggling uh, really, in terms really of stamina. Struggling. So what Alados needs to do is just compose himself. There he goes with his wide swings once again. He, just needs to calm down. He's not get a knockout in this round, the way he's going. Yeah, but he's still swinging wide. And I, and I, I give Shea uh, Hamid a whole lot of praise uh, for standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with this man. Nine fights, nine victories. And it, almost 80% knockout. He's going to be his tent. Yeah. Almost 80% knockout rate uh, for the real one. I now wonder, I wonder what I was saying when I said it could go either way. No. <laughs> yeah, it could still go, but no, to be honest, can't go either way. I, I, no I think Aladdin has edged this one. It's gonna be unanimous. But he needs to be careful. He needs to be careful. You see, you see, you see, Hamid, and Aladdin wants to fight. He's he wants very to tired now. Well, Lagos needs to give the fans what they want. All he needs to do is just keep calm. You will get the target and strike hard. Now, Lagos, who after body this, he needs to go back and check his uh, precision. Yeah. See, you see, you see how many? That's about four punches there. Another one missed. And, oh, that's a big one he's got there. All right, cut him. And he's looking. I, I, I think the referee uh, needs to do more. I mean, he's looking at the referee saying, help me out here. This guy's literally grabbing me. And you can see the fans are not happy about that. And the fact the referee needs also to be part of this game. Needs to break the clinch as quickly as possible. But I mean, using every possible uh, rule in boxing here, you, you're allowed to clinch, but how long it, you're allowed to clinch for, it's a different thing, but he's using it. Made missing an uppercut there. Break. Good one. It goes for a break. Oh, that's a great counter punch and got that right break. hook in. And made Olados should stop complaining. He's a more experienced boxer here. When he grabs you, there are ways you can actually, you know, try and break your uh, uh, the clinch. The way Hamid got that hook, if he, if he break. Break. like that all night, it would have been. See that it's, all over. For him. it's all over. Uh, for me, a bit of a disappointing uh, about for somebody who wants to challenge for the African title. It's not good enough. Forget the showmanship he's putting on here. Yeah, he's won the fight, but it's not good enough. I mean, if you want to fight Otto Joe Boy, give us something. Something more than this. Well, uh, his corner, the corner of Hamid. Uh, they're looking more like... Uh, yeah, they've been impressed because more like cheerleaders <laughs> than actual economy. They, they look like backup dancers. <laughs> they've even got more swag than the boxer itself. Uh, one of the uh, top promoters of boxing. It's a convergence of the best of Nigerian boxers here. The two boxers have left it in the hands of the judges. And we will go straight to the judges card to see who has carried the day. For Nero and myself, it, is, it will be a unanimous decision for real one. Absolutely, but you know what? The judges are the ones who decide. Exactly. Take a look at that. Swings. He was able to get him there. Left hook in. But then he keeps missing all the other punches. 
and then he dashed the grab. I was expecting him to find a way of getting himself and look at that wide swing again. Look at that, he was able to get that money. Too wide. I think my problem, my problem with it, with Orlando is the fact that he gets too angry, and when he's meant to land them, he doesn't land them right. So the national and West Africa lightweight champion about to remain unbeaten after 10 bouts. Unbeaten in nine, coming into this fight. The World of Champions bringing you all the actions here. Let's go TV Boxing, night of action. Let's get into the ring now for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been eight wonderful rounds of the beautiful arts of boxing, and we have the results. George Latif Muiz scores it 73 79. Second George scores it 74 78. George Constance Chinagorum scores it 72-80. Winner by unanimous decision. Real one. The real world. Oh, let us show. And there you have it. Uh, we said it. And it was exactly what we predicted uh, by unanimous decision. And on all the judges' cards, real one, the real one of Ladders.